Oh, and I, I just scored on top in two plays. Well, if they didn't get the wake up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. The only one who has competition is Jay Jetta right now. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25 yard line. They'll start with the option. They need to do Adam bad. They took it. They took Adam. 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 They took what the defense gave it. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Here's the first carry for Khalil Herbert. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Fields. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Yeah. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little game. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 14 yards in a Chicago first down. Throwing again is Fields. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels oh, a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just Might a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, yeah. and escape this drive. On second down, a run with Herbert. Five yards, now it's third check. and five. The check. second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Fields now to throw. Oh, that's a kick. Calvin? No fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. Oh, this man Tyler just missed a field goal, bro. I don't know, Tyler might as well concede, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. He just missed a field goal. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little, and when that happens, bro, do you know how drunk I am? Like, I am like, I've been drinking since like two o'clock. That is That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, that kind of hit will certainly fire up your team, both on the field and on the sideline. Tackles for loss yardage, they're always Bro. welcome. I still had a win, huh? So now they have to contend with second and 13. I don't know why he went and got the Bears. When I got Smith. Smith, nigga, 
You know, I got Smith nigga, but he ain't got nigga. Now Smith. Bro, what's funny, bro? I can't get nigga butt, bro. And he just... That's insane. Man. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. <laughs> oh my god. It's like you in the gas, bro. Tyler want me to punt. I hope not. Yeah, I'm not punting, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. They snap it to Smith. All right, rifles one, and that's gonna be intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. Well, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five Bro, defensive like, backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have Devin Boy? Who is that? There. You want extra speed on the field? Guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can right. do? And gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. This will be caught inside the 10. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. To throw his fields. And from the 9, they get this to the 5-yard line. That's an early Three years is crazy. Positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Read option, here's Herbert. They give him two yards officially, and now will be third and goal. Now, if AB had, I mean, AB had long yards, hey. Hey. AB would be crazy. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. If you're gonna throw it. If a if AB didn't drop kick somebody that game, he would be lit. Yeah, perfect. Never hit him like that. What? Oh, no, I didn't see that one. I don't think. If he would never show this thing in the pool, bro. <laughs> he showed his thing in the pool, bro. <laughs> they call him I Show AB. <laughs> I Show AB. That's what they call him, bro. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why his name is still AB. Well, I'm like now Smith. Well, he tries to force it in and it's in his well, I'm like and the Bears are gonna take over the cover of the shy of midfield. Here we go. 
Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. A shotgun snap, Fields. Well, that one drops down and incomplete. Yo, this is a big six, bro. And it's second down. Well, that was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. He's in the comeback route. Second and ten. Fields again. He'll get that complete to his tight end connect. 27 yards there. First down. I like the boldness of that play call from the offensive coordinator because he wasn't daunted even by the double coverage he expected to draw to the tight end. Makes me tackle the catches. A huge game and a major shot of confidence for everyone on the offense. On first and ten, here's Fields. To the right side, and he's got more complete. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Even against double coverage, he got enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. To the air again, Fields. And he's got Moody in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. John L. Moody. Touchdown, and the Bears have taken the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw to the defense. They have no answer for that right there. Yeah, prime AD is crazy. From the end zone, here comes Eskridge. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no calls for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. So into Bear territory now. This is first and Colton Jones was throwing the ball. Oh, wow, yeah. He's him. Smith. Colton Jones is throwing the ball, bro. Not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Smith, an incomplete pass. I got to get off the game, bro. Now it's second and ten. On second down, it's Walker. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Smith here and Audible at the line. Now Gino on first down. This hit into the hands of Metcalf. Two? 23 yards on the play. 1980? Oh, hold on. Let me go check this. No time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Here's Walker. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up. He's named the quarterback. I don't even know what re option is. That's insane. Again, Walker. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to seven. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Now it's Smith. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second. Now forced the ball forward and kept them out of the end zone. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal.
Here we go on four. Smith. Here's a diving catch right side. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there. Laying himself out in the end zone. And the Seahawks' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Back out there to boom this oh, the more I drink, the more frustration after the PAT miss. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. <laughs> the Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Off play action, Fields. Oh! It's caught by Moore. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. And they're going to speed things up here. On first down, it's Fields. Flushed out right. Open man is connect to tight end. Pick up the 26 yards. Line of scrimmage in the 31 now on first and 10. A play fake now fields to throw. This one complete to Tanya underneath. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Field throwing again. Oh my God. Comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. On third down, Herbert. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the depth behind a line of scrimmage. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. No fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. This from 44 yards out, left hash. Santos' kick is up and through, and that'll move their lead up to four now. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They try to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Throwing on second and long. Smith. Escaping the pressure right. And for the 
third time here in this half it's intercepted. Connor Gordon picks it off. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Now a first and ten at the 11. Back to throw. Fields. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. Santos' kick is up and through. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? When you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and... And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Meanwhile, and now look at this. Big game and a fumble. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. So we thought maybe they would have a chance to extend this lead on the opening drive in the second half. Instead, they cough it up. Obviously not an ideal start. When you're trying to get a little separation, and I can guarantee that they talked about that in the locker room. Let's get out there, start this quarter the right way, no way he's try to put there. some points on the board, and create some space. Now a throw here to his running back. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Bro, you could be 102, Lamaya say, bro. We, we, you know, we really beat him by 40. And it's Smith. This is the tight end fan. The quarterback at Oha on um, Pete Carroll was throwing in the uh in the practice he here still here in the NFL. The yeah, Cowboys really better. Terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. The Smith's throw into the hands of Fan. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a game of 16. First and 10. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. I think a lot of the Xbox team be bad, bro. Jackson Smith and Jigba. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that will tie things at 20 all. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kicks away. I had, I had got the 25 game the yesterday. Zone, so we will start here at the 25. I don't even got it my team. I'm my team. It's not my the team. Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And their lead has evaporated oh, in this yeah, third quarter. It's tied with more as they begin with a first and ten. 
And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain. What do you think? 26. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. So eight yards on the completion there. And third and one now. And now they're in the hurry up. Fields to throw on third and one. There's a short throw. It's caught by Kamal. And he will have the Bears first down. Are they still playing the Rainbow? As they're able to convert there on third and one. Got to oh, say, I was right. a little surprised to see him Charles come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever the see him run for oh, it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Fields on first down. So left side, it's complete. That'll be marked as a 27 yard pickup. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. Flush to his right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. Now they go up and downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Part of the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this I got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and 10. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. On first and ten, it's Herbert. And yeah, he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. And they'll send the tight end in motion. They'll run here with Herbert. And that one blown up quickly. As he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. <sighs> Bro, on YouTube, they're posting one play touchdown so you could just use it. Like. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Out of the gun. Fields. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Robert Tunyon. 10 yards out, and the Bears answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And Just start doing the Naruto run. The back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. 
and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 99 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Taken down at the 42. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they have everything bottled up. It looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and seven. Gino down a throw. It's complete to Lockett. On the other side of midfield at the 45. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. <laughs> they see openings, take their shots. Eluding the pressure right. And incomplete on the deep ball. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up with the late going. But the coverage was there, and this lines up incomplete. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Throwing now is Gino. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Eddie Jackson picks it. Pass the 20. I tell you what, credit is due there in preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the Seahawks are right back in this football game. Bro, I don't know what playbook I'm running, bro. I'm just running whatever. I... Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now, this series could very well determine our outcome. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's out. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To throw at Smith. He's got his tight end fan. And he'll be out right at the 35. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle. But they allow the conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Gino. Throw out wide to Walker. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Here's Smith. And this one is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter one to the upper water than some. They like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there. But it wasn't enough to get him to completion. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but not three. And score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Smith. Seahawks go for it, but can't convert. And the Bears 
They're going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now it's Fields. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Daryl Taylor picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. But things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it. And now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up. But they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. They come up now on second and two. Smith. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. They wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Smith to throw. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it instead. One more chance coming up on fourth down. I mean, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back something to every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. All eyes on fields. Oh. He's incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Flushed out right. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. So from the 36 now, first and ten. The 
kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. On the return, it's Eskridge, and he'll bring it out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. This is first and ten. Here's Smith. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. That is now five interceptions that he has thrown in this ball game. If I asked you to speculate what's possibly going on in his head, what would you say? Well, if he's as mentally strong as I believe he is, he understands that not all these picks have been his fault. You know, some of the throws, yes, but have been a good number of them where he hasn't been helped by his own receivers, and they've turned into interceptions. So he knows if he keeps firing, perhaps good things can happen, not just in this game, but especially in later ones. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears, and they were 